Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Bean and welcome to my channel and as we get one day closer to the release of Fully Winged King or Dalt King, whatever you want to call him, and uh, he basically changes the meta, gonna be all just King teams or his counter teams, figured why not have some fun with Melee and uh, yeah, try and uh, pop off real quick. So AM Melee gonna be main DPS of course, uh, Chandler he's gonna be here, he's really good for his passive so decrease all of their stats by 7% every time they try and attack us and then uh, Dragon Claw as well, so we can turn off those pesky and annoying Margarets or cleanse units, so we can keep the debuffs on him. Sigurd also for his uh, passive really good, or I should say his um, extort and also his passive. But basically, if he has uh, three debuffs or more stat decreasing debuffs on the enemy, you get one buff for each one of those. So maximum three, it's attack buff. So three buffs, which is what is that? Thirty percent increase of attack. But that's three more buffs for my melee here for his amplified card. But Sigurd also has amplified, so that's pretty good for him as well. And uh, Festival Zeldris, uh, basically key for this team because you basically want to debuff everyone as much as possible. And Zeldris is passive, the more debuffs the better. At max passive, so what is that? Um, eight debuffs, I'm pretty sure. You increase your basic stats by 24% because 3% for each debuff. And uh, yeah, cheeky starter link. So if we do crit on melee, we do big damage. 197,000 damage using CC food, respectable CC. Uh, but that's basically it. Hopefully it goes well. Before we get started though, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 4k subs, and if you enjoyed today's video, consider leaving a like. It really does help out, and I would greatly appreciate it. And also, let's see if we can uh, get one like for each one rip for uh, Melly's fifth weapon. Still not here yet, but it is what it is. I'll start searching, be back once we have the first real player, let's see how it goes. Do we finally have the first opponent here? Maybe. I think so. I hope so. This team, okay. Um... It is a real player. This team actually is to my benefit as well because of Droll. So the more buffs he has, uh, or more he attacks me, more resistance I have, or will get, which means more damage. Um, but here though, I will extort everyone. I'll put up a stance and then I will... Um, Dragon Claw Margaret. So this way he can cleanse off the uh, extort, and that way I can get the three buffs from my uh, Sigurd's passive. So that means more buffs for melee. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So probably rank up Margaret and then taunt a draw, I assume. Hmm. Let's see. Level two pumpkin bomb and then taunt. If you don't taunt up, I'm gonna go straight up damage on your Margaret. You're Russian ult? Is he? It's a player. Please tell me you did not just buff yourself. Oh, that's a massive rip. This is a real player, by the way. You can't get CC this high. I bought anyways, because you need food. Look my melee. He did attack me a few times. And now we have 13k attack. A decent amount increase to his uh, attack related stats. Only 5%, not much. But, okay, here... He has a bunch of these buffs. I'll do this. Then I'll go straight for Margaret. That's the only unit I care about. So this is going to do Rupture AoE. Yep, because he has the buffs up. And then, although we're not going to crit on this one, Margaret's gone on this hit. Yep, no crits needed. So we're good on that front. Now I don't really care about his droll. Yeah, he's got there. I mean, he could petrify me, which would be annoying. Um, Well, let's see. As long as he doesn't petrify my Sigurd, because I have two uh, Amplifies with him, I should be fine. But if he puts up a Taunt on Droll, then probably not. Okay. Oh, I petrified Sigurd. Please tell me you didn't go for the double petrify. You probably did, huh? Yeah, that's fine. We can just stall out a bit, I guess. Um, He has Ult of Goat there, which is fine. Actually, he kind of messed up. Hold on. I can turn off his goat. There's a bolt ability. Yeah. And then you waste this card. So he could ult me, but he's not going to take away my gauge. That's good. Can I get a bunch of melee cards, please? No, I got Sigurd. Oh, I can get a level three X start. And he, I mean, Escanor is going to cleanse it off anyways next turn because of his uh, deal of immunity. But we'll see. Okay, is that a level three taunt? I don't know. I can't even petrify me. I forgot. 
It's heavy metal. That's fine. Okay, I think we're good. Escanor, though, is going to be a problem. Well, is he? What's Melee look like? Two stacks, so 10% increase to all of his stats. Yep. Do we have enough damage? Is my question. I'm going to play it safe. I know I'm not going to get the full effect from um, the Extort, because it's only going to... It's a level 3 for free. Yeah, that's really good. Take away 20% of their attack and defense for 3 turns. Escanor is just going to cleanse it off, which is a bit annoying. But this means his... Oh, we almost finished off out there. His Droll is not going to do anything to me. And he can... Uh, I mean, if he wants to petrify my melee, he needs to do it twice, because I have a taunt up or stance. So I'm curious to see how much damage you take from this. The more he hits me, the more he's making me do more damage because of melee. Yeah. More buffs, another resistance. Chandler, take him out. Nope, it's fine. Dissolve. This is good. He keeps attacking me, dude. This is what you oh, this is what you want. Please don't leave. This is what you want on melee teams. Let me see his buffs before you uh, probably tap out. Hold on. He has 25% to all of his stats. 16.5k, dude. Um, I'll see if we can one-shot him with all of these. Imagine. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a level 1. 257. Escanor, he has no debuffs because uh, he's a mutant, but 257,000 damage on blue droll. And he had a level 3 HP buff, so that means he was a bit tankier than usual. But Melly doesn't care, because he's AM Melly. I mean, I really like him, dude. He's uh, one of my top favorite characters, not even just units in the game, characters in the series. But he's not really used that much, rightly so. He doesn't have any, like, properly meta-breaking team, like King will have uh, when he releases. Uh, but hopefully someday we get some the rise of the meta, demon meta, again. But I'll be back, though, with uh, Game 2. Hmm... Are you a real person or a bites a real player? Yo, let's go. Okay. The move here is gonna be turn off Gother. I don't want him to turn off any potential rank twos I might get. So X start AoE him so he doesn't do that much damage to me. Take away a bit of his attack. Put up a uh, stance, and then uh, Dragon Claw Gother. And I kind of want him to attack me, but if he's smart, he's not going to. Ooh, I really wish I could have pulled a level 3 X-Star. That would have been disgusting. See, look, this is what most people just do. They just rush ult. Uh, however... I can just... I can do a level 2 x store. So I'll take away 15% of his attack now. Put up another one of these. And then Dragon Claw Keel. I mean, now he can... Uh, What's the word? Um, hit me with a level or just a what's it called? Jack light card. There it is. But I don't really care. Yeah, he's just gonna be annoying. This is what happens when you actually face someone that knows how to play against AML teams. But if I can get this, um, what's his? Who has more attack? I think my Sigurd actually has more attack right now. It has eighteen thousand attack. What about melee? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go for. Sigurd damage, and then if I need to, I'll use melee. I just need his uh, Kyo gone, but my Sigurd's absolute beast right now. Look at that. Yeah, we're fine. No more ignites for him, and then melee. Not much damage, but I just needed to use that card. We have ults of Sigurd, which is good. No more ignites, which is fine. If he drains me with uh, anyone, I'll get ult again. But keep in mind, we've extorted 15% of his attack and defense. So my Sigurd's an absolute tank right now. So he needs to drain me twice here. If he doesn't, I'll just merge ult again. Unless he tries to go for the finish. I don't know. I was going for melee. Does he think he can finish off melee? You're, you're just dreaming, dude. I don't even know what you're, what you're on. No. No chance. Alright, you see this? He attacked my melee three times, so this way, now he's an absolute more of a beast. 15k attack. I believe Sigurd's Extor did run out. Yeah, so melee has more damage right now. But he has full HP, and that's a mistake. Because... Um... Let's see. I have Flood uh, Effect on my ultimate. Although I'm only like 1 or 2 6, I'm still full HP. 
Yeah, get this Cusick out of here, dude. And then, how much damage on this? 49,000, that's fine. Melly's gonna heal quite a bit of uh, HP from this. Yep, basically full HP. Fortunately, Festival's out just on the field. Nothing you can do about that annoying passive, but the match is won. I don't care what you do. Um, yeah. If he attacks me, then it's over. It ki him kind of not attacking me lost in the match, I would say. Um, but here... I'll do this. I'll extort so he loses another, or again, 15% of his attack and defense. Which is really good because his attack rate stats are going up the more cards he uses. Because of Gothar's passive, never mind, Gothar's dead. And just like that, we took apart a, uh... Interesting team of Cusick and Kiel. Usually you have like Mon Speed or someone, not Festival go out there, but yeah, the match is over. The reason I know that to be true is because I can turn off his um let's see, I'll do this. Put up a stance, and then I'll turn off his ult ability. Mm-hmm. So his ult is not even gonna lower my HP related stats on all my units. So we're chilling, man. And just like that is... Ooh, I can hit a level 3 extra. It's how you play AML team against someone that is annoying and doesn't want to attack you. Let's see what he does. He's not going to do any damage to me, dude. Put up a stance and then take away 25% of your attack. So your ultimate's not going to do nothing to me. You might have a level 3 um, dissolve, though. You have a level 2. That's unlucky. It's fine, though. He's just stalling out. We win. Okay, I'm, pre yeah, I'm pretty sure my Sigurd's stacked right now. Not as much because there's only one unit, but yeah, 12k attack. And then Melee, he has 9. So I would do more damage from this card. Let's just do this. It's over. Melee? Oh, nice. A Melee finish. Okay. Kam I even try to say Kami Kichiri, something like that. It's cool, though. Nice, alright, we beat him. Interesting. Uh, interesting team though, but... Ha! Trying to move cards around, trying to be cheeky, and you still lost. Let's get it. Alright though, I'll be back uh, with match 3. Alright, we have the third opponent here. Yes it is, okay. Not a bot, thank you. Who are we... Who are you gonna be using? Is my, what I'm trying to say. Ooh. Full goddess. Alright, interesting. Same play applies. Hold on. Okay. Extort. Stance. And then turn off Margaret so you can't cleanse off the extort. Beautiful. And then hopefully, I can get a bunch of melee cards so I can do big damage with him or get his ult. Let's see. Or both. Hmm. Oh. I'll put up another stance. I'll merge the, um... Yeah, I'll merge. He's getting ults. I don't really care. I did extort his defense. Keep in mind. That's a plus. Let's do this. Turn off you again so you can't cleanse it off. And I'm actually decreasing his damage on his ultimate. Now that I think about it. That's pretty good. Turn off Margaret once more. Hopefully he ults me, so he does damage to me and I get some buffs up. Okay. I can keep doing this, by the way. If he drains me, which he might do, I'll Dragon Claw Margaret again. I'll level 2 Extort. That means I take away more defense from him. And then uh, he won't be able to cleanse it off. So, uh, yeah, we're just chilling. You can, you do you. Yeah, just keep doing this. This is fine. This is what I want. Yeah, see, look. This is what most people do. Which is annoying, dude. But it's how you're supposed to play against AML if you're smart. So, makes sense. Let's turn off Margaret. Let's extort. And then... I guess waste this melee card. Because they're not going to buff themselves because I'm not letting him buff. So this works out, yeah. We take away 15% of his defense, which is really good. Against uh, Tarmio because of his ult. And then melee. Just do some decent damage, I guess. Pepper them a bit. And now we have double ults. Let's see what he uh, does now. More Dragon Claws. That's fantastic. Does he have another drain? Hmm. Let's see. 
He has to ult. I don't know which. If you don't ult, uh, I'll just dragon claw you again. There he is. There he goes. Thank you. Okay, I'm curious. How much damage are we still gonna get? Wipe from this? Is my is my thing? Also, we lower his defense rate at stats, so that means even less defense. Yeah. So look at that. I completely forgot about Melly's passive, dude. It also lowers defense. Yeah, we're chilling. Well, let's see here. How much is it lowered? We won't be able to see exactly, but... Yeah, see, look, his defense is lowered by 3.5k. Those ultimate did, like, nothing to me. Um, let's ult with, uh... Sigurd on you. Put up one of these. And then turn off your market once again. Let's see how long you can stall out, I guess. I guess that's what you want to play. Never mind. Oh my god. Turn off, uh, sorry, the kid. Thank you. Cheeky crit as well. We have ults once more. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I think this match is over. Eskinar on the back. Nice. Some more melee cards. Finally. Is he going to drain me? The more he drains me is another attack, which means more buffs on my melee and also deb a debuff on his uh, defense right stats. So. No, he's not. Okay. Is he? Surely he is. Okay. 25,000. And then the kid. This. Oh, he did not even attack with the kid. Okay. Hmm. What's my melee built like right now? 15k attack. I'll do this. Okay, we have, do we have enough damage? Surely. Go for Sario. Go for Sario. Yes. <laughs> Keep moving cards, buddy. Keep moving cards. And then turn off Eskinor. Yep. Match is one. Let's go, dude. Absolute banger. Let's get it. I'll do one more, and uh, that'll be it. So I'll be back with the last and final opponent. Hmm. Are you the last one of today? Hold on. Yes. Nice. Okay. Good. It is a Margaret. Oh, I don't know. Okay, that's Red Goat there. Interesting. There's no reason for me to stance then. So let me extort. So I can trigger my secret passive to max next turn, the beginning of it, and then Dragon Claw Margaret so she can cleanse. Hmm. <clears throat> oh. Wonderful. Let's see. Shield, rank up, and then move? Okay. Is he attacking me? No. Okay. Let's do this. Put up a stance, I guess. And then... No, 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 okay. Put up a stance. We'll break this, and I'll use this. The reason I'm doing this is because I know he's going to level 3 buff next turn. Or I think that's a... No, I think he can merge into either. Either or. So if that's a level 3 attack card right here, um, it'll merge into level 2, level 3 buff. But if it's... You get what I mean. So he has basically level 3 buff secured. I have ult, though. What's he doing? Oh, attacks you. Okay. Is he not buffing himself? Okay, only... Okay. I guess he didn't have a rank up. I don't know. Um, I'm attack sealed, which is a problem. Uh, I guess I'll ult go out there. I'll move this and then put up a stance. This way he loses the buffs from uh, Margaret. I'm pretty sure he dies. Yeah, take off res. Do this. We have ult of Chandler next turn. Nothing he can do. I mean, he could just ult me, of course, but... Nothing but Chandler card. That's kind of unlucky. And then he's gonna go in with the, uh... Margaret cards, I guess. So as long as my melee survives, which I don't know if he can do, we should be fine. Oh, I don't know. That's a level 3 attack. I think he has a level 3 attack and a level 2. This, I think we actually are dead. No, wait. Please. Oh, it's not. Okay. Hold on. 
He did cleanse off the debuffs, which is unfortunate. However, that's all I need. Because I'm going to fully heal on melee. Uh, I'm going to stance up. And then I'm going to Dragon Claw use your ultimate doesn't work. So we heal basically almost to full, I'd say, with melee. Because we increased all of his stats by 50% because he attacked me three times right there. Yeah, so he's like... Uh, he healed like 50, a bit over 50%. Ooh. So if he ults me, he has to ult my Chandler. And it's not going to work. Because, um... I mean, the ultimate ability is still going to work. The damage is, but the sever is not going to proc. Because I did um, disable him. I don't know if he knows that, though. Unless he cleanses it. He could cleanse it off. Shield. And then... Ulting. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. Let's see. Go do this. And do this. This maybe won't break. It does break. Okay, so Sigurd will be able to do big damage on this. Take away 25% of the attack and defense and take out uh, Margaret. Okay, good. Um, Now I just need to chill. Honestly, yeah, he can't cleanse off uh, this anymore. The debuffs, that is. And as long as I can get ult of melee next turn, which I will do, uh, I'm fine. The more he attacks me, the better, too. Keep attacking me. Yep. Alright, he's gonna heal. Fully heal, that's fine. Even if he is 6-6, six, six, uh, I'm still gonna not attack him. I'm just gonna get ult. Oh, that shield, actually. Hold on, I might attack into it just so I can waste some cards then. But yeah, we have... Uh, full pass from Sigurd again. Melee, he has 14, almost 15k attack. Is Liz maxed? No. Oh, I'm fine then. Um. Okay. I'll waste this. Taunt up. And then I'll just move a Sigurd card. I'm not gonna take that much damage from Reflect. So this way, he can't stop me from ulting. The best thing he can do is just... If, I guess if he has double stun... But, we'll see. But if he does that, he'll give me two more stacks with melee. So, that's a trade-off to having the double stun if he does have it. Or is he going to level 3 shield? Level 3 stun. That's good. That's good. He's giving me another buff on melee. Decrease again for his accurate stats. We have... Well, only two of his passive, because he's not really attacking me that much, but that's all we need. We are 6-6, six, six, so, just in case you don't know what his ult does. Increase the stats, basic stats, by 50% for three turns, and does big damage right there. AoE. Well, let's ult. Um, they're still extorted. Gilther and, uh... What's her name? Gilther and, uh, Liz. So, we're chilling. How much ult damage are we gonna do, though? I guess damage. <laughs> 581,000 damage, ungeared. You love to see it, dude. That was an interesting team. I mean, he couldn't... I mean, he couldn't... I mean, he could use Green Gelter, but he would not get passive, so I guess that's why the red one is there. But interesting. You don't usually... I don't usually see teams like that. Uh, with Red Gelter, then two Goddesses. Just doesn't work most of the time. But yeah, that's... Yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Melee's still popping off. Uh, however, I don't think you can do this when King drops. I'll try it out. After I cover a bunch of King videos, of course, because he's going to be the only thing everyone cares about. Rightly so, because he's still, he's broken. So, as you would expect for a new character release. Uh, but yeah, if you are new, make sure to subscribe. And then uh, like the video, comments, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.